What's up guys, CW here today, back with another video on the channel. Now, today we're playing some Planet Zoo, and as you can tell, this is a completely different editing style from, you know, chaos and the random sh stuff going on the entire time, like boom, boom, explosions and stuff like that. But today we're playing some Planet Zoo, and we're going to do like a little more of a chill episode, a lot less editing style, and just kind of like chill out, relax, put some music on. Watch me build stuff in Planet Zoo. So yeah, let's just get on with it. So, so far, what I've done is built a flamingo exhibit, which you will see this turns out to be in the future. But right now, I'm just kind of like laying out all the rocks. And I was kind of deciding what I wanted to do for it. Because I was like, alright, I can put a waterfall in here. But to do a waterfall, I'm going to have to have water. So yeah, I, I kind of like messed around with the, the rocks for a little bit too. It, once I get in the game, this should be completely redesigned because I didn't like it. Let's just put it that way. It looked very ugly. So yeah, and I'm not sure if this is the glitch right here where if you rotate something, it actually splits it. It's weird. I don't know why it does that, but it duplicates it. It's very weird. But anyways, so right there, I'm just kind of like leveling out the terrain, kind of laying out the path work for how the rocks could flow the water in and then making the lake down here basically so yeah <laughs> later on you'll see that i figured out the flamingos well i don't know if it's in here i'm pretty sure it is but the flamingos can actually get on the rock shelter i make very cool but anyways so i just basically had to build up more of a fence too because i was like oh crap these guys might be able to get out if i don't build up the rock formation a tad bit more so that's what did i ended up doing in I think I just looked at example set, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I had to lay down all the, the visitor stuff real quick. Lined it up perfectly. Because you know OCD be like that. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I think I buy flamingos here. <laughs> um, funny story about that. The flamingos you see in the park now are well, not the original ones. Yeah, I'll talk more about that later. <laughs> um... Let's just say I ended up killing all of them because the keepers wouldn't feed the animals. No clue why it was, but I think I figured out the problem. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I did. Now I'm just laying out the path. I decided I want to rechange that later into like concrete or whatever that is. Just to lay out the path for the exhibit a little bit. I couldn't get it to go along the fence right there, so I kind of just made like a little loop. And I put the, the visitor or what is it called? The keeper gate in? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Set the time back to day. Now, I don't even, Oh, I'm just messing with the water. See what I do for the levels. And then I'm trying to make like a little pit like this so I can pit water in there. That actually does work. Surprisingly enough. After a few attempts of messing it with it. And I just pit the water effects in there. Which are really cool. I like them a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I was basically mesmerized by all this. So I was playing with them for a little bit. And then I decided, wow, I, I need to find the middle one. Well, I found the middle one, and it made it look like 10 times better. I promise it doesn't look that bad throughout the entire video. And then I was deciding if I wanted to put steam on the bottom of the water. I don't know why. Like, eh, I found the middle part. Looks 10 times better after I added that, too. Look at that. Beautiful. Now what is it I do? I lower the rocks, mess the rocks for a tad bit. I'm trying to get it, you know, just right. So it doesn't look completely unnatural, it looks somewhat feasible for it to be naturally occurring. Then I kind of do like some water, running water, streams I guess, not really sure. Not, how much, not sure how much uh, streams all flamingos have, I don't really know. But what am I doing here? Oh, I messed with the paths for a good solid minute. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get the paths to work. So I kind of just like screwed around with that for a little bit. I was like, alright, I need to get these to work. Otherwise, it's not going to look good. I eventually do figure it out after like five minutes of screwing around with it. Not, I can't say five minutes. It's like two minutes. But the paths are hard to, to um, figure out in the game. Especially if you don't like know. But good thing is I had some prior experience to it. I know I'm professional. <laughs> I trained in the, ma the uh, master art of pitting paths on the uh, paths. Wait, what the? Pitting paths on paths. Yeah, that's, that's not a word. Um, yeah. 
So I figured it out eventually and connected it up and did a little cool little design over there with like the little squares and stuff. As you can tell. Funny th fun fact is I forgot to put a... I don't... I forgot to put something over there and the game was getting mad at me. So that was fun. And then I also realized this doesn't count as a legit exhibit because I can't put a gate on it. So I just built up the rocks even more. Make it look like it's like a little... So I kind of just built up the, sorry about that, I had to cut it out because I'm like currently sick. So I like cough every five minutes. Pretty annoying. But yeah, I built up the rocks around it to make it look like a little oasis, I guess, in the jungle. I don't, I'm not 100% sure how it works. But it turns out to look really good. Especially since I add trees in the background later, which I think I did off camera. But pretty sure I did. Along with adding trees around it, makes it look 10 times better. I love how you can just mess with all kinds of stuff in there. This is truly the predecessor to, no, what would it be, Descendant? Uh, modern take on Zoo Tycoon, I guess. God, I love that game. They're probably including music over it right now. But, so there I'm just kind of messing with the flamingo's needs, I think. Yeah, now I start messing with the flamingo's needs. Get the percentage just right. And it wasn't good enough for me because I basically screwed around with it for like another minute so or so in the video at least. As you can tell, I had to make everything look pretty, I should say. Now, here's the fun part. I went a tad bit crazy with plants, especially lily pads at that. Because I love lily pads and they look so cool. I didn't know they were in the game. Oh, dog. No, after. <laughs> My dog's asleep back there dreaming, so if you hear that. Yeah, he's he's asleep. I don't know where he, Oh, he's on the couch. Oh well. So... There we have ourselves some moss I just put down. It's very cool. I like the mossy rocks. They look really good. Like, they, they do suit the aesthetic I was going for really well. And now here comes the fun part with the banana palms. Yeah. And all that. That was before I figured out there was more types of foliage in the game. So I kind of just messed, added, basically, I added just that to the exhibit for a long time until I figured out there was different types and then I go back and add some more and I add some ferns too kinda get some ground cover going in there I like the ferns, I like how it's not like you have to place an individual one, it's like little patches very cool dead tree right there to add some aesthetic <laughs> and then I add another dead tree over there, I love the dead trees No, I'm just looking for plants. Yep, yeah, this is where I figured out. Oh crap, there's more plants than this these. So I still, I go back and add some more of these. Or well, some of those, and then I go back to adding banana palms. Because honestly, who doesn't love themselves a good banana palm in their exhibit? Like, look how beautiful those look. Add some ferns over there. These ferns are, they like wet environments. <laughs> they just chill out there. That's kind of all they do. Um, what else am I doing? <laughs> Just adding more plants. God, I love the amount of customization in the game. I've been enjoying it quite a lot. Even though I haven't played it in a few days, I, I've been wanting to get back into it. I don't know what I want to make next, though. I'm definitely thinking Komodo Dragons, because I'm a huge fan of reptiles and stuff. Well, mainly because dinosaurs are like semi-reptiles. I don't really know how to classify them. Bird reptiles, I don't know. But yeah. Komodo dragons are the closest thing we have to dinosaurs in the game, so you know I'm gonna use that in basically every book. And then I, yeah, so I just go back and add some uh, enrichment for them. And as you can tell, I'm redoing the shelter because I was like, this thing looks crap. We need to redo it. And what else do I do? Well, I, I decided to go with tropical, and here's where I start making the basics for the shelter. Thinking about it in hindsight now, I could have made that a little bit better. But it works out in the end, I do redesign it once again off camera to make it look a lot better and just make the exhibit flow more and make it so the keepers can actually get to the food bowls but we don't mention that because <laughs> the animals couldn't eat and then I make a little pillow right there just to hold it up doesn't really make sense but you know it's fine what am I doing man? I don't even know, I don't even know why I thought that would work <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, the flamingo gets boxed for no reason. Sick. God, oh, I love this. It looks so good. Oh, this is what I figured out the flamingos can get on top of the rocks. 
you'll see me zoom in for a little bit right there, yeah. I figured out they could get on top of the rocks, and I was like, crap, these guys might be able to jump out. It turns out they can't. But, uh, I just kind of designed the outside of the park for a little bit. I got bored of designing the inside, and I was like, I kind of want to make the outside look really good. Gives me more ideas for what I can do, and oh, there's another one on the top of the rocks. Wow. <laughs> very cool, Flamingo. Very, very cool. Um, what else? That's when I figured, yep, there's when I figured out, oh, here's, I do do some of the, um, landscaping in this video, I guess. I think this, most of this is landscaping this part. <laughs> Funny thing is, is while we, I was doing this, there's like a show on in the background, it's like eyes or whatever, the Apple show. <laughs> the concept of that show is just dumb, honestly. It's like a bunch of blind people, like, not like disability blind, like, so, I, I don't remember what happened. It's like something about billions of years ago, like, everybody on Earth went blind. So, it led to people just kind of, like, reproducing as they're blind. So, it kind of just carry on traits. But, yeah, it's like, I, I, I got bored of the show. Like, honestly, that's how much I know. I mean, it's like, these two kids are born that have eyesight, but if they're born with eyesight, they get killed. That's about how far I made it into the show. I got really bored of it, and I thought the concept was really dumb. But anyways, yeah, here I'm just kind of designing it some more. As you can tell, Greater Flamingo is about to have offspring. They did bleed while I was doing this. I was very surprised, especially since they weren't eating. But, you know, I guess flamingos can bleed without food. Very cool. Who knew? Oh, then I, oh god, that's annoying. I'm trying to get a screenshot right there. As you can tell. But why is it just paused? Did I go get like water or something? I don't even know. There we go. I'm messing up this. Oh, I was trying to figure out the zoom in thing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, shit, sure, that would be a good screenshot. But, or a thumbnail, I should say. There we go. I had the trees in the background to make it not look so barren. It, it does do a good job of adding some depth to it. I think I need to add some more though. Or just wait for the poke to get fleshed out some more. And then it'll just look ten times better. But the flamingos weren't very happy with the hell or plant variety, I guess. I don't really know what it's called. But yeah, that's about, that's about it for this. I'll pop into the poke when we place the new flamingos and I'll talk about why. <laughs> I, I killed the rest of them. Alright, we are back and we are in the zoo. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add the flamingos. And I'm not sure if I've showed what I've added since this. This kind of just looks a lot better. It's like a piece of the jungle. Let's get these flamingos in here real quick. Alright, so we need to plop all these boys in here real quick. Cancel move, move. Anyways, how is everybody's day so far? I know it's like towards the end of the video, but if you've made it this far, how is your day going? Mine is going, oh wait, but mine is going pretty good. I can't complain. Why is it? Okay, I don't know what it's doing. Oh, this dude is just kind of running a marathon out here. Look at it. Okay. Well, why are you like the place? I got. I get to hang out some friends later today, so that's always a good thing. And I get to edit some unturned and this, so that's always a big bonus for me too. I love editing. <laughs> like, like I can't. Sometimes I just don't feel motivated to record, but some, I can get motivated to edit really easy. But where are of all the in? The forest. Oh yeah, I forgot I named the zoo this for the forest because I had no clue what to name it. Oh, that's like get that bit off and that's annoying, but that's fine. And you're moonwalking. I've noticed they like the moonwalk sometimes. It's very weird. Alright, so I've kind of just concluded that we need to add more scenery around it. Around it potentially. Not 100% sure. But let's just enjoy the flamingos for the rest of this part. And I'll just, next part I'll work on the staff area because I don't feel like working on that right now. But yeah, I love the flamingos in this game. They look very pretty. Look at you guys. Instead of this exhibit, like, if you just walk along here, it looks so good. Honestly, I'm very proud of myself with this. It might not be good compared to other people's works, but for me, this is outstanding. <laughs> Alright, I think I might end it off here though. I mean, I kind of got like a long video. I don't want this video to be too long, but... If you remember to like and subscribe for like more kind of videos like this. I quite enjoy making this. It's more lapsed as I said in like the time lapse area. But yeah, I will definitely probably make some more of this because I'm enjoying Planet Zoo. And I will see you next part. We'll probably do this next part. And I'll see you next part. Goodbye.